Hi guys, speaking of the weather, as the weather gets warmer, a lot of us are thinking about road tripping. If you are a fan of American popular music, we may have found the perfect guidebook for your next road trip. Yeah, this week I spoke with travel writer Bill Clevelin about his latest book. It promises to guide us on a perfect musical road trip. The book is the ultimate American music bucket list, and in it, writer Bill Clevelin offers us a tour of American music landmarks, including the Great American Songbook Foundation, located in Carmel, and the site of Elvis Presley's last concert in Indianapolis, and that's just the beginning. Yeah, it's really exciting. So I've been traveling since uh, 2013 as a full-time travel journalist, and during a lot of my visits... You know, I see these really cool music sites, so whether that's, you know, a statue of Dolly Parton in eastern Tennessee or whether it's, you know, standing in the fame studios down in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, where Aretha Franklin recorded her first hit song. Uh, there's all these really cool spots about American music and, and places that are preserving American music and all these great stories. And so after a while, I started to have quite a collection uh, of places that I had visited uh, with ties to American music. And I decided to put a book together so that when people are doing road trips, they can stop in pretty much any state in the country and find uh, these really cool musical attractions. One of my favorites is the Capitol Records building in Los Angeles. Um, once in a while, you can sneak in and get a public tour there. Um, but even just seeing it from the outside, it, it's almost unmissable when you're driving through Los Angeles. It's this really beautiful building. It's supposed to look like a stack of records. So it's this, you know, really distinct look. And then at the very top of the building, um, there's this, um, it's a red light that flashes. You know, you've seen those on tall buildings. Buildings, except that the interesting thing about the Capitol Records building is um, it flashes in Morse code. There's something that flashes in Morse code. I'll make you get the book to figure out what it is, or people will Google it probably. <laughs> there can be no discussion of American popular music without mentioning the king. Sun Studio, right? Memphis, Tennessee, the place where Elvis Presley first recorded. Um, that's a must see. You talk about a, a goosebump moment when you're standing in Sun Studio and they play for you Elvis's very first recording and you realize that you're standing in the very spot uh, and nothing in the room has changed. The ceiling tiles, you look up and you know you think they're going to fall down on your head because nothing's been updated or you know changed uh, in all these years. Um, so the recording studios are probably my favorite of all the things, but I include statues, murals, um, even grave sites. A lot of people are fascinated by grave sites. You know, Hank Williams Sr. Um, is buried in Montgomery, Alabama. And so many people go to his grave, they actually put astroturf over it. In 2019, I was covering uh, the lead up to the Iowa caucuses, and it took me to a place called the Surf Ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa. They had a thing called the Democratic Wing Ding, and I didn't know till I was there that that is the last place that Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper and Richie Valens all played before that, that terrible plane crash. Uh, is, yeah. it, is, that, is that one of the sites in your book? I didn't even... It is. And I have a copy right here conveniently, George, right on the desk here. Um, yeah, it, no, you're right. And, and also in Clear Lake, another site, we mentioned uh, grave sites, not a grave site, I guess, but a plane crash uh, site. And, and that's where the plane went down uh, that Buddy Holly was in. And so you can walk to that site. You'll see these great big glasses that look like um, Buddy Holly's glasses. And then you walk maybe a couple hundred yards and you'll go to the exact spot where the, where the plane went down. And there's a lot of uh, amazing a lot of artists, especially from um, the late 50s into the 60s, that died in plane crashes. And right. so we have a whole chapter in the book on plane crash sites. So you can go and, and see where those happen, too. Wow. Uh, and I, ta I, I talked to Bill for we, we just we just yacked away yeah, even after right. the interview was over. But I'm going to post a link to his website where you can get his book. And I think it's like 19 bucks or something. And uh, perfect travel book. Did he so. say anything in this interview that surprised you? It's like, wow, that's there or anything like that? It, I, what was neat was that every place I could think of in mm -hmm. my own mind, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's in the book. I mean, he, he's like, he, he went everywhere you could think of. So it's I love pretty that. cool. Man, so. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got to check off some of this on, on my bucket list now.